The project we are going to do here is, is the project that we are making 3D images of the object that you have here from Greenland. We are a group of only students uh, who are creating this low budget project to make images of objects to give available for anyone. And this project, the name literally means um, the creation of knowledge through images in Greenlandic. I've accompanied the students here basically to just help facilitate and support them in, in their work as they make 3D models of uh, Inuit objects from West Greenland. Uh, they've currently been working uh, mostly with objects from East Greenland, but this is really exciting because this is the first time they've been able to go abroad and find an institution with a West Greenlandic collection. So this story uh, of, of the students and their trip here and the work that they're doing actually began 30 years ago with some earlier correspondence that took place between the University of Kansas and Greenland. Among the, the letters was um, a request to identify some of the uh, places and people and, and some photographs from the collection. Hans and I started uh, connecting via email um, because he was interested in having his students at the University of Greenland and the Greenland National Museum work with um, collections in U.S. institutions. And we have an amazing collection of materials from the Arctic, but also from um, the northwest coast of Greenland, which I thought would be a particular interest with them. So we looked through the collections. There were several items that just um, were unique that the that I have not come across before at our institution. With the arrival of Randy, we were able to begin the actual process of photogrammetry where we're taking photos of the objects, which will be, then be rendered in a 3D modeling program. We take pictures of the uh, items, four levels and uh, 360 degrees, and you can see the uh, the item in 3D. It's very exciting for me to come here to Spencer Museum to see the items but also take pictures, make it into 3D. Uh, so we have uh, in the future more complete pictures of items from all over Greenland. This is a really great opportunity for us to be able to speak with someone firsthand and to get this kind of information from them because we don't often get a lot of opportunities to work with uh, consultants and other people who really have firsthand knowledge about how things were made and how things were used. We're always trying to improve the data that we have about the items in our collections. And so to be able to get this kind of extra level of information is really great. The students ha are currently working with developing a online exhibition through the use of Makurtu, which is a, a platform, a digital platform that is really uh, intended for indigenous uh, communities to make available their cultural heritage online. So the things we are going to do is collecting and make images and take interviews to the local about the history of the objects. So in that sense, we, you know, we're trying to create a resource that can be used not only uh, by researchers, but I think more interestingly, the access that is made available by bringing together very disparate collections of, of Inuit materials that are found in different parts of the world for the first time, we're able to digitally reunite a lot of these materials. One of the things that I think is really unique about the Spencer is the way that we share our collections. And so this has been a really interesting way of connecting directly with students at another institution who are certainly able to learn things from what we have. And so we're framing this as a form of knowledge repatriation, um, a way that we can share knowledge, expand knowledge um, with people who would never otherwise be able to see and interact. And I think that as museums start shifting away from um, institutions that guard and that uh, keep their collections you know, hidden away and safe, this is a new way of, uh, of reaching out and really sharing what we have. Between museums, we can really start to build these, these collaborations and connections and relationships that can improve not only our understanding of the past, but uh, really help to broaden our, our knowledge of how the, the material culture uh, from this recent history uh, can really speak to you know, how, how modern day Greenlanders not only understand themselves, but how they relate to the world.